Hello, welcome to Circuit Moments. What I'd like to do today is spend a little bit of time talking about Thevenin's theorem and how it relates to a DC circuit. And we're going to calculate that Thevenin impedance by first calculating the short circuit current. Okay, Thevenin's theorem states that we can have a complex circuit uh, with multiple sources and we can actually replace that with a single Thevenin voltage source, which we're going to call V Thevenin, in series with a single Thevenin impedance like so. So this is actually called Z Thevenin. All right, let's take a really simple example and we'll look at a DC circuit case. All right, so in the sense of a DC circuit, we will have a Thevenin voltage source being a DC source in series with a Thevenin resistance, which we're going to call R Thevenin. Okay. All right. V Thevenin, as we can see from this circuit, is really equal to uh, the open circuit voltage. And we can say that R Thevenin, all right, and it says the resistance looking in at terminals A and B, but a way to calculate this would be to first calculate the short circuit current, so that means put a short between terminals A and B, and see if we can calculate that short circuit current. Well, that short circuit current is simply equal to the Thevenin voltage divided by the Thevenin resistance, which is R Thevenin. So therefore, R Thevenin will be equal to the Thevenin voltage divided by the short circuit current. So a way to calculate this then is to first calculate the Thevenin voltage of a circuit, which is the open circuit voltage, and then to calculate the short circuit current, and then simply divide that short circuit current into the Thevenin voltage. Here's a simple example, all right? Now, what we want to do is thevenize this part of the circuit over here. So we're calling this the load, and we're calling this terminal A and B. So what we're going to do first is we always remove the load, okay? So we'll redraw the circuit with the load actually removed. So what we have here, then, is that 10-volt source, um, and then we have a 2K resistor, uh, and then a 3K resistor sitting here, like this, and then of course this represents our two terminal points A and B. As I said before, the Thevenin voltage is the open circuit voltage, so that's the voltage we measure at terminals A and B with this load actually removed. So V Thevenin then is equal to, it's the voltage across that 3K resistor, and in this case this is a simple potential or voltage divider, so it really is what? It's 3K divided by the sum of the two, which is three, uh, 2K, let's say, plus 3K, uh, multiplied by that 10 volts. All right, so if we actually work this out, we've got 3K over what? Uh, 5K times 10, and so that's really 3 um, over 5 times 10, which gives us a voltage being equal to 6 volts. All right. Now, to calculate the Thevenin resistance, at least one way to do this, is to find that short circuit current. So what we do here is we effectively put a short between the terminals A and B, like so, and we're going to try to calculate that current, which we're calling I short circuit. So let's have a look at this. The current then is basically going really through this 2K. No current is going through the 3K, so it's just the current really through the 2K. And so we can say I short circuit is simply equal then to this 10 volts divided by that 2K, 
which gives us a current of 5 milliamps. All right. Our final step then is to calculate the Thevenin resistance. The Thevenin resistance in this case is simply equal to then um, the Thevenin voltage, which is here, which is this 6 volts, uh, divided by the short circuit current, which is actually this 5 milliamps. So if we work this out, this comes out to be 1.2 kiloamps. All right, so what you have here is the original circuit. Uh, we've got the load attached, it's a one kilo ohm load. And here is the Thevenin circuit, which we have just calculated with the load reattached. What we're saying then is that this circuit, this Thevenin circuit, as far as terminals A and B are concerned, is equivalent to this more complex circuit, again, as far as terminals A and B are concerned. So therefore, if you said I need to calculate the current in that load resistance, which I'll call IL, uh, I can then calculate the current in the Thevenin circuit uh, with the load attached, called IL. These two values should be identical. Now what I'd like you guys to do is maybe just um, take a little break here and just verify that that is indeed the case, that you actually have the same current flowing in the load in the original circuit as you do for the Thevenin uh, equivalent circuit attached to the load. All right, I hope you've had a chance to actually have a look at that. All right, let's take the simple case of using the Thevenin circuit. Load current, okay? We can say that the load current then is simply equal to, all right, let's look at the resistance in the circuit. It's a simple series circuit. We've got 1.2K plus 1K, which is 2.2K, so the load current will be the 6 volts divided by the resistance in that circuit, which is 2.2K, and if we work that out, that comes out to be uh, 2.73 milliamps. An easy calculation with the Thevenin equivalent circuit. All right, in the original circuit up here, a little bit more complex, what we need to do is first find, or at least one way to do this, is find the current, the total current, being pulled from this voltage source over here. So that means we need to find the total resistance. Okay, so I'm going to say that that total resistance, RT, is equal to the 2K plus, well, these two guys are in parallel, and so we've got the parallel combination of those two, which is what? That's going to be 3K uh, multiplied by 1k divided by the sum of the two, which of course is 3k plus uh, 1k. All right, so if we work that out, see if we can find that total resistance, what we have then is a resistance value of um, 2750 ohms. So you can double check that for me. All right, so having found the total resistance, we can now find the current IT, which is this 10 volts, divided by that total resistance of 2750. And that comes out to be a value of 3.63 milliamps. All right, so that's the current IT, which is 3.63 milliamps. Now we have a current divider. So let's just use our current divider relationship and we can say that the low current is equal to well, we take the opposite uh, impedance or resistance over here, which is 3K, divided by the sum of the two, which is 3K plus 1K times this current, IT, which is 3.63 milliamps. All right, if we work that out, well, we actually have a current IL being equal to 2.73 milliamps, as we would expect the same as the Thevenin uh, equivalent approach to determine that current. Okay. Thevenizing a circuit is a really powerful technique and it's really something that you need to understand. So what I'd urge you to do is try some more examples, initially with DC circuits. And then, look, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.